Wait a moment. I need to know. Has Obadiah sent you in search of a book? I thought as much. Listen to me very carefully, child. You mustn't bring it to him. That book is known as the Krivbekne, and it's a thing of evil purpose. Yes, the Krivbekne. The Blackhall family has a long, evil history with the book. It was lost to them long ago, but it's found a way back to Point Lookout, and Obadiah seeks to reclaim it. I ask no more. You can find me at my tent on the beach, south of Black Hall. God bless your path, child. Just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. I consider it payment for what he did to my poor sliced up brain. I was gonna do the same to him, but I figured you'd want the honor. Seems that when the Tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the Tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. Sweet little deal he had going on. <laughs> Sounds pretty wacko, right? Well, I wouldn't have believed me either until I snuck a peek in Tobar's engine room. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love, preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end, one way or another. What the?
We having fun yet? Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I can head back home. For a while, anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. Well, there's not much to say. Well, if it isn't our hero. Yes, thank you so much. And now that she's got this boat and carrying all this cargo, well, I can afford to actually pay you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. We having fun yet? Here.
I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Him. I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Nothing but the best for people who stay in my good graces. Now, you ready to stop whining and listen? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find the squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know Professor Calvert, and I do, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up his little talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point on the shore and install it. Easy, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go! It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed-up old limey.
Greetings once again. And what is it you would like to purchase? You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Pay! No one betrays me! Do you understand? You will suffer for this! You will... Cool. You will be... Pay! Coming for... Turn to dust. Enlightened.
Oh, I know. Of course, I learned many tricks from my father. And what is it you would like to purchase?